Hello everyone. So in this Cisco Packet Tracer video, we are going to learn how to configure the DHCP. So DHCP stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. So in this video, we are going to see that how the DHCP is configured in router. We can also make a separate server that can do all the DHCP job. We can we can call it as a DHCP server. So DHCP is basically uh, assigning the IPs so that the workstation which are within the network can communicate. So we have two ways of assigning the IPs. Either you can do it statically. We can, uh, when you uh, configure any machine, you can give one IP, static IP, and that IP remains the same. But generally, we don't prefer this, and we go for the dynamic allocation of IPs, which uh, in which the server or the DSCP is basically assigning the IP uh, dynamically at the runtime when any workstation becomes the part of the network. So uh, this video is basically talks about how to configure the DSCP under the router. And the other video you can see that how to configure a separate DSCP server. Okay, so let's start. So here what we are going to do, we are going to uh, create two uh, network you can say, and then we connect uh, these network with the router, and then router is actually going to uh, assign dynamically the IPs to them. If the DSCP is not working, then by default uh, in the in the window operating systems, the IPs are basically assigned. That is by I APIPA. This is called uh, automatic private IP uh, assignment. So this is the Cisco Packet Tracer, and uh, with I have written some information here so that you can, uh, if you are doing along with me, you can just look to the requirement. So we are going to make one network with this 10.0.0.0 as a network ID, and this is the mask we will use. And for other, we are going to use 192.168.10.0 with this mask. And along with that, we are also using some commands to configure our router. So these are the commands which are going to be used. And these values, IP address, just randomly I have written here, just to uh, give you the syntax that how these uh, these commands are used. So you have to write IP address, and then you have to write the IP address and the mask. So uh, here we can see that interface means to which interface, to which port we are going to connect with the router. So, in our requirement, we need to have one router and then we have one switch that connects two different machines in a network. Okay, so let's take a router. Let's say so I will take this uh, this router here and then I am going to take two uh, right, two PCs. You can say here one PC here and then we have one more PC and they are connected with a, a switch. So I'll take this. Uh, and then uh, we are having one more laptop let's say we'll take it's connected here something like this okay this is a scenario so then we'll take this uh, connection and we'll go for the automatic cabling so it will identify automatically what port are used for this connection so okay So here, the advantage of this is we don't need to care about the type of the wire. It will automatically identify it. Okay, so you go here. You can check here and you see what is the what is the IP which is assigned here. So I want to go to the dynamic IP. So you can see this is the DSCP field because DSCP is not configured and a PIPA is being used, that is the uh, automatic private IP address is being assigned, which is actually 169.254 series address, which is basically used to connect the local uh, local machines together, but it doesn't allow to connect the two networks. So similarly, if you look here, uh, now we will be going to configure our router so that the, the router will behave as a, as a, as a ESCP and will assign the 
runtime IP addresses. So for this what is required, we need to configure this. So here uh, I'm using for this part, I will use 10.0.0.0. And uh, for this, I will be use 192.168.10.0. So this is the network which I am uh, using to connect at this interface. And this is the network which I am using to connect at this interface. And uh, for this interface, I will give the router 10.1 IP. And for this, I will give 10.0.0.1. Okay. So uh, let's check. So I'll go to command line interface and here I have to write no. Let us make it bigger. Okay. So we will label our command line and then we will write configure. Then we have to check what interface has been given here. So you can see this is uh fa1 and this is fa0 so this is a fast ethernet uh one by zero this one so let us first configure this one so we'll go here and we write here interface uh that is a fast ethernet And that is, uh, we'll check here, this is one zero. And we assign the IP address. So this is uh, 192.168.10. Ten dot one. This is the IP that we are assigning to the router at this port, and two fifty five two fifty five two fifty five dot zero. Okay then, and then also we will write this no shutdown. That means we are going to make it uh, running. That means it will remain up. Similarly, we can also uh, configure the other terminal so that is uh, interface now here you can see this is fa0 by 0 here the address we have to sign 10.0.0.1 and the mask we are using 255.0.0.0. Okay, and then this is also kept as uh, up, so no shutdown. That means we are keeping it. Okay, if you want to see the status, and then we can write here, we can just okay, exit from this, and we can write show. Uh, IP interface so we can see the status here so you can see that now this is uh, now up this is up and this is zero uh, zero zero and one zero okay fine so now you can see that it is now configured you can see all the, the green color symbols here now if we go here and still see what is happening here now if i go here and if i look for the allocation of dscp is it working or not so again it is said that this is failed because it's, it's still not configured we have simply you know just set this interface that this is the ip which connects this network but we have not assigned the kind of uh, set of addresses, the pool of addresses, and DSCP is not enabled yet. So we have to go 
and check the status so we'll go here and then we write here okay then we write here ip dhcp um, pool let's say pool one so first pool of addresses we are assigning pool one and uh, here we are assigning this network so first we have to uh, identify that uh, so we are assigning here so we are assigning uh, that for this network uh, i want to uh, assign 20 dynamic ips that means 20 uh, oxygen can be connected in this network so what i will do i will say network 192.168.10.0 and 255.255.255.255 Dot zero. So actually, it says that here we have um, because here this is the prefix which I have used. That means the size of this is uh, somewhere 256. So 256 means 254 hosts can be assigned in this network, and it starts from 10.0. So 10.0 is a network is a network ID, and 10.1 uh, we have already given to the to the interface. So that means from 10.2 to 254 IPs can be assigned to different worker station which are added to this uh, network. Okay. And then we keep the default root. So here we have to write the IP of the interface. Uh, That we assign to the router 192.168.10.1. And then we exit. Okay. And uh, what is left? Okay. That's it. We can just. We can write this information. Okay. Building the information. It is done. So I think we have configured this network and it can easily get the. IP. So we'll go here and then we go to IP configuration and then we just cross check. It will request the IP and you can see that now this IP has been assigned 192.168.10.2, which is from the pool of addresses which we have given to this router. So now uh, dynamically we, we are assigned to this ID, uh, IP. We can also check, uh, for example, if I want to get the ping if i write say ping command to see what is not not, not ping command i will write ip config just to check what is the ip assigned to this machine so you can see here that 192.168.10.2 is assigned to this laptop okay but still uh, this is not yet uh, configured so still if you go here and if you check and you can see that still this is a, uh, a PIPA ID is being assigned. And what is the impact of this? Now, if I say, if I want to ping one and two, one, uh, so if you look at this, what is the IP we have given here? So the IP is 10.2. If I want to connect to this from here, it is not possible to connect because here we are not having the IP which is uh, used for communication. So if I write here, if I go here and if I say uh, ping, what I'm doing is I'm trying to connect from this machine to this laptop to the router so it will not allow us because it is still using the APIPA IP which is not used for this kind of communication. So if I say 192.168.10.2 which is the IP of this machine so I want to connect this and you will find that it is not able to connect. Okay so once we are able to configure this interface also that can assign uh, dynamically the IPs means if we configure properly the DSCP to this network, then we are able to get a connection. So, okay, we'll go back here and then we will do the same exercise. So, okay, we'll configure now.
So here uh, we will write uh, IP DSCP pool, and now we give a pool two of addresses, and for which network the network is uh, 10.0.0.0, and uh, the mask we have used is 255.0.0.0. And the default router we have assigned as 10.0.0.1. So if you look at this, so we have configured here. Okay, fine. So exit, and uh, we can just write, oh, it's, we can do it like this. So it is configured. Now if we go back and see what is the impact of this. If I go here and see is it still working with us? So okay, let us refresh this and see. Is it able to get? Yes, the request is successful, and you can see that the IP is assigned here. Similarly, if we go here and do the same thing, if we check that is it possible to get the IP dynamically, that this is 10.0.3. And again, we will do the same exercise. Now we will send one. Uh, one ping command and we want to see that is it possible to connect from this machine to this machine so or from here to here as we did it earlier so okay i'll do a ping command here so let's say i will write a ping command from here i say ping and i want to connect to this particular laptop whose ip is 192.168.1.1 Okay, so you can see now it is actually able to connect and uh, in the same way if you want to check it from here that uh, is it able to send any message from here you can just go here and then you can write here and uh, write the ping command for example let me do it again i'll go here and uh, i will write ping and i want to connect and to this machine, and this is 10.0.0.2. And we will see that we are able to connect. So we have uh, uh, configured our DSC server properly, and we can see that the machines are getting the dynamic IP because of the DSCP uh, is working here. So you can see that the same thing can be done by configuring as a separate server with the help of helper command. So you can see the link of that video. It's mentioned there. So this is all for today. Thank you very much.